Yo, what up, guys? It's Pro Headshot Gamer. Today, I'm going to review Peter Jackson's The Lightning Thief. Yeah, you guys know this film. It was built up for years. It was considered to be the next best thing since, you know, Twilight or something like that. And you know what? It lives up to those expectations because Peter Jackson and The Lightning Thief is one of the greatest adaptions to a book in recent memory, if not all memory in general. I mean, let's just consider the name alone, Lightning Thief. Now, that's something to get excited about. Like, how do you steal lightning? I mean, that's a title worth going after. I mean, that's a film, guys. Anyway, the plot is fairly interesting, actually. It's about a boy whose father is Zeus, and he has to get the stolen lightning bolt that belongs to Zeus, or he will destroy the planet. He's befriended with a black man, which is one of the few downsides in this film, is that a n*** involved in this film. I mean, you could argue that he needed to help him. And I'd say you're correct, he did need to help him, but he's a n***. What would have worked better is once he's done helping him, he should have killed himself on the spot. That is how... This movie would have been superior than how it currently is. However, the movie holds very well in terms of everything else that it attempts to pull throughout the entire film. Now, when, you know, when this movie was coming out, people were like, I should read the book. And I'm like, I don't want it. So I did it. Anyway, you know... The movie's in color, and I know what you're thinking. Color? Pro Headshot Gamer, every movie's in color. And I'm like, I just gotta tell you anyway, because I have to make my videos longer. Logan Lerman plays as the main character, Peace or Jackson. Whatever the f*** said. Uh, they also got P Pinsir Brosnan, who was James Bond at one point. It was in my favorite James Bond film, actually. Which was Die Another Day. Yeah, that's probably one of the few actual good James Bond films. It really got me into the film, and I was really interested. It's up there with one of my also all-time favorite films from the James Bond franchise, Octopussy. Anyway. <laughs> Octopussy. Anyway, Chris Columbus directed this masterpiece, Lightning Thief, and he also directed Gremlins 2, which is one of my all-time favorite films. Of the Gremlin franchise, which is the only one I actually liked. Uh, he did some Harry Potters. I don't really care about Harry Potter. It's not as good, but... He's a, he's a pretty, you know, badass director. He's got, uh, one, two movies I really liked. Anyway, uh, you know, P Peter Jackson, The Lightning Thief is definitely one of the better movies made in recent memory and i'd highly 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 recommend it to anyone who wants a good adaption to a book into a movie form that's what i feel that this movie accomplishes and in that saying i feel like this film is really something worth remembering anyway back to the plot they you know they go around they fight they find out that the villain stole the lightning the lightning which was um the bad guy and they get it back and they live happily ever after um i, I would give this move oh wait no hold on um i have to make my videos five minutes um uh, gmail money said that i have to make the video five minutes so i'm gonna wait on uh, finishing the video and um, I'm just gonna you know talk about whatever um so uh, it's been uh it's been chilly out yeah it's been cold as f I don't like cold it makes my nose even more cloggy and then I sound even people get even more annoying because they're all I don't give a they want I'm not graduating this year. I'm failing pretty bad. I have all the F's.
So anyway, I give this movie a a 10 out of 10.